promise of good things to come. O Lord, receive our supplications at this very hour. Direct our lives in the way of your commandments. Sanctify our souls. Purify our bodies. Set our minds aright. Cleanse our thoughts. Deliver us from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Surround us with your holy angels so that guided and guarded by their ranks, we may reach unity of the faith and knowledge of your unutterable glory. You are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. In virginity you gave birth to God the word, through Theotokos we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Through the praise of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, Lord of hosts and maker of all creation, who in your great compassion and mercy sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the redemption of mankind, and by his precious cross destroyed, destroyed the record of sins, triumphing over the source and power of darkness. Lord and lover of mankind, accept also the thanksgiving and fervent prayers of us sinners. Deliver us from every dark and harmful transgression, from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to destroy us, nail our flesh to the fear of you and do not incline our hearts to deceitful words or thoughts, but wound our souls with love for you, that always looking to you, guided by your light and seeing you the eternal and inevitable light, we may give you unceasing praise and thanksgiving to the Father without beginning and with your only begotten Son and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Yeah. 
or to minister, let us use it in our ministry, or to teach in teaching, or to comfort in comforting. In giving, let it be done with simplicity, in governing with diligence, in showing mercy with goodwill. Let love be without hypocrisy, abhor that which is evil, leaving to that which is good. Be kind to one another in brotherly love, treating one another with honor. Do not falter in your diligence. Remain fervent in spirit without what remain fervent in spirit while serving the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be steadfast in prayer, keeping hospitality, fulfilling the needs of the saints. Bless them that persecute you. Bless and do not curse. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did not foreknow, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Forever whom he did predestine, them he also called, and whom he called them he also justified, and whom he justified them he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare even his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how hath he not also with him freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against the elect of God? It is God that justifies. Who is he that shall condemn? It is Jesus Christ that died and furthermore that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are put to death all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But in all these things we overcome because of him who loved us. For I am persuaded that he, neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Peace be to our leader. And to your spirit. Wisdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will sing of your mercies, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will pro proclaim your truth from generation to generation. For you have said mercy will be established forever. My truth will be prepared in the heavens. Ilumina orko 
Sumon Con, you did pure the light of your divine knowledge, you open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of you of your co your gospel teachings, implant all in us the fear of your blessed commandments, the trampling or carnal desires we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well pleasing to you. For you are the illumination of our souls and body, O Christ our God, and to you is the glory to get you of your O Father, who is without beginning, and your all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master Him who proclaims the good tidings of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist Matthew. May God, through the praise of the Holy Glorious and all of the Apostles and Evangelists, Matthew, enable you to proclaim the glad tidings with the great power to the fourth man of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, stand upright, and let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. synagogue, 
The time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he offers God a service. This video you have read the good news. about the forgiveness of sin and about the healing after being rejected in the land of Gergesenes. Christ comes to other place to Schite. Evangelist Matthew calls Capernaum his city because the Lord lived there. He was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, but Capernaum was his permanent residence where he spent a lot of time. Today, we find ourselves in his house, where Christ always resides in his temple, which after a fresh coat of paint has become clean and beautiful again. The walls again resemble a person who came to confession and to whom the Lord forgave all his sins. Our souls become as for us our temple is today after it has repented. Their brothers and sisters, Christ came to our world, which in, is his city, in order to do good. If he is rejected in one place, he hurries to other people. There are people who don't want to hear anything about him. And there are people who really want to know something about him and touch the edge of his garment. One can come to Christ in different ways. In today's Gospel, we have here about one unique and recently traveled path to Christ. This is the path of the person who is weakened by his sinful past life and illness and is paralyzed by sin. He could not move on his own, but on his way to Christ, he met many healthy people. The two friends of the paralytic brought him to the house, where the Lord was lowering him through the roof. What was so unusually about their act? not having access to Christ because of the multitude of people. They broke down the side door of the house and went through the roof carrying their friend. They used a brave and despair way to get their friends across to Christ. Their feet became his feet. Their faith became his faith. The friendship of kind people help a miracle happen. The heart or for friends, exhausted from carrying the heavy paralytic on a stretch, bore fruit and brought their friend back to normal life. When a person is unable to come to Christ on his own, then other people can lead him to him. The Lord does not reject this kind of appeal to him. For many today's believers, the encounter with Christ often takes place on a, on a, a coastal bed. It is often the faith of relatives or friends that calls the priest to the bedside of a sick person. Infants also cannot come to Christ by themselves. The Lord accepts and bless the parents who bring their children to the temple 
so that they may be in communion with Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today the Lord merciful tell, tells each one of us, Dale, my child, your sins are forgiven thanks to the faith of your friends, with whom you be friend in your praise, through the Theotokos and the saints. Arise from the bed in which your sins have laid you. Take your already unnecessary bed and go home to begin a new life. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Amen.
people upon you. We therefore, God, accept also the prayer for our sinners and believe it to your holy altar, enabling us to offer and to give some spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the errors of the people. Make us all to find grace in, you, in your sight, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may dwell upon us and upon this gift here offered and upon all your people. Through the compassion of your only begotten Son, you whom you are blessed to get with you with your whole holy good and life in spirit. Now and ever and on to the ages of ages.
compusor al louvor în derpinus. Singeni trăiati fiume în șauri proclaim în săie
for the boldness toward you and not for judgment or condemnation. Again you all turn to this reasonable worship for those who have fallen asleep and the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, as it in every righteous spirit may perfect in faith. Especially for more for our most holy, your most blessed and glory, Lady Theotokos, and Lady Virgin Mary.
And let us all say, I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thy own most pure body, and that this is truly thy own precious love. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake of thy condemnation, of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Come, my mystical supper of Son of God, accept me today as communion, for I will not speak of my mysteries or my enemies, now in thy truths will I give thee a kiss, that I am to be what I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, and in the communion of thy holy mysteries, be neither to my judgment, nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of the soul and body. Amen. Все прихожу без между Богу наш, преподается мне достойно протереть, але честное тело кругу с Богом Господь. The sins of God, the Archon, Michael, receive the precious blood of our Lord Jesus, our Lord God and Savior Christ, for the remission of sin. Monsters and all beasts. 
unto life eternal, food which the Son of Man will give you, it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. to him, what must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus replied, this is the work of God, have faith in the one whom he sent. According to scripture, he gave them bread from the heavens to eat. Comes down from heaven and gives us life to the world. 
Sir, give us this bread always, they besought him. because he claimed, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They kept saying, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? How can he claim to have come down from heaven?
that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. We thank you, most beloved man, family, father of our souls, that you have made us for this day, this day all pure heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make state our path, straighten us all in your fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps to the praise and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification unto you, this is of glory, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us depart in
welcome to everybody who came to worship with us this morning. Special thanks to Father Vitali, uh, Archpriest or just Priest? Archpriest Vitali, who is uh, celebrating with us today. Uh, normally he serves a Moldovan mission here in our building on uh, days other than Sundays, as well as out in the country parishes. So it's a true blessing to have you here with us today, Father, and our first service serving together. Um, very good. Um, uh, one short announcement that our president, Melanie, asked me to make uh, is that uh, this week uh, we have agreed to loan our parking lot to the condo building right across the place. So uh, they're having some parkade repair done, and so they need a place to park the vehicle. So if you come during the week to pray and the parking lot is mostly full, don't be alarmed. That's why. Um, and also for anybody who's not here uh, uh, and also sees the same thing during the week, don't also call the bylaw officers. It's been arranged. It's fine. They have permission. So uh, thank you very much. And Greg has an announcement. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Just a reminder that this Friday out at the farm is um, a men's night out barbecue. So a few, quite a few people have signed on the list. But if you haven't, please do sign up or let me know so that I'm aware of how much extra food to bring and for all the extras. So thank you very much. Uh, remember to sign up or let me know you're coming. Thanks very much. Uh, shortly we'll say the Thanksgiving prayers for communion and then we'll come through the line for the cross. Um, uh, if you're a visitor and the visitors recognized you as such, they may have given you a packet, which includes uh, also a voucher for a free CD from the bookstore. Uh, I don't know if the bookstore is going to be open today or not. Um, if not, then uh, keep it. Uh, coffee hour is outside, I believe, again today. It's downstairs? Okay, coffee hour is downstairs, so after you come through the line for the cross, especially for those who are new, uh, please come downstairs. We'll have some coffee and some light refreshments, and you can get to, uh, to know the people here in the community. Uh, and if you have questions, please feel free to come and talk to me. My name's Deacon Micah, um, and uh, we look forward to visiting with you all uh, very soon. Thank you very much.